Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today we're going to be going back into the workshop to look at some crazy, awesome, weird creations that I happened to find this week. And we're starting off with this thing right here. So this is the Wheel Loader Cat 992. And this is by Anton Lull, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong. So this thing right off the bat just looks amazing. I think he modeled it after an, a real life version of one of these things. You can see it turns from the middle in there. And uh, let's see, we got some other controls. Oh, we can move the bucket up and down. <laughs> this gives me some uh, BH trial vibes. And what else we got? We got a an alarm. We can turn our lights on and off. Oh yeah, we can move the bucket on its own as well. So I figured let's try to pick up one of these barrels in the bucket and see if uh, that can happen. I don't know if that's actually gonna be possible. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get enough, like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the barrel in this or not. Actually, is this even big enough? Those barrels are huge. I don't think this is going to be big enough. Hold on, let's see. Oh, look, I just noticed, look at the teeth on the thing. They're so sharp. All right, yeah, this is not, this is not going to work. Hold on, let me see. What if I knock the barrel over to start off with? Here, we'll move this up. Oh, this is high as this goes. Oh, boy. All right, let's put this down like that, and then we back up. There we go. Look at that. We got some articulation and stuff. All right, so now the big thing is, is the barrel wider than the bucket? And it looks like... It looks like it is. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. All right, shift is to tilt up. So I'm gonna run into it, and then I'm gonna tilt up. Eh, no way, that almost worked. I think we can do this. All right, this is definitely not gonna be easy, but I think it might be possible. So I'm gonna try it again, just a little bit slower this time. All right, and lift. <gasps> don't drop it. Oh, we did it. All right, slow down gently, gently, gently. Don't make it roll out, don't make it roll out. Oh man. All right, lift up. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is as high as I can lift it. This is as high as it goes. But we managed to lift this thing up. Yeah, I think I think we have to do it with an explosive barrel, though. That has to be the ultimate test. All right, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> keep it, keep it. No! Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the other explosive barrel and die. Um, hold on. We still got this. It's still in front of us. Go, 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 go. Keep it, keep it. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about right there with the falling out of the bucket on the sides. All right, is this the one? Is this the one? Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, no. Oh, boy, this is getting worse. Now it's downhill. It's going to be much harder to get underneath it going down. No way. I thought that was going to be like our least chance of getting it. But look at this. I cannot believe that that actually worked. We've managed to pick up an explosive barrel with this thing without exploding. All right, so now I'm gonna run full speed into this crate and see what happens. And <laughs> there we go, perfect. All right, up next we have the Human Hamster Wheel by Hot Fuzz 0927 Just keep running and you will eventually gain speed. Oh, and actually it's human powered? I figured it'd be powered by something else and you just hop into it. All right, okay, oh wow, look at that. I just jumped into it and it started rolling. All right, you know what, let's start running. Is this gonna work the way I think it's gonna work? It's going. The thing is I can't move my camera off to the side because if I do, then I'm not gonna be able to see. I'm not gonna be able to go in the direction that I'm looking at. Oh, but look at this. We're totally getting it to work. Hold on. All right, now I'm gonna run sideways. Oh, it's difficult to run sideways. All right, there we go, there we go. Look at this. It's totally working. This is awesome. We're just running in a human hamster wheel. I'm surprised I'm able to actually stay steady. Oh, I hit the thing. I'm surprised I'm actually able to stay inside of it that long. This is what life has come to in self-isolation. We're just running in human hamster wheels for our own amusement. I mean, don't act like you're not actually being entertained by it. It's working, isn't it? You're here watching it, and I'm the one running in it, so we're all in the same boat, or the same hamster wheel, rather. All right, let's move on to another creation. All right, up next, we're looking at the BMW F1.06 by Obersturmbannfuhrer. So apparently this is a model of a real F1 car. Let's see if it drives like a real F1 car. All right, well, check this thing out. This thing looks awesome. Whoa, whoa, this has a lot of acceleration. Look at that. Oh, this thing's great. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. All right, well, it's terrible when there's dirt all around for F1 cars. All right, here we go. Man, this thing's amazing. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. We're under control. We're under control. This is... Everything's fine. Turn. Turn. Oh. Slide. Drift. 
That is not the terrain an F1 car is supposed to be on, but I got it now. We're under control now. This is a really good F1 car. Like, this feels really nice to drive when I don't accidentally go on the dirt. No! All right, nice and straight this time. Oh, I wonder how we're gonna do going up the... Ooh, that's a cool front end there. All right, I wonder how we're gonna do going up with this. Oh, that actually worked great. Whoa, we made it all the way up. Uh oh, all right, and land. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna drive as best as I can straight down here to the battle arena and see if we can go off the jump and see if we can clear the entire battle arena going off the jump. We're reaching 300 kilometers an hour. This is a pretty fast F1 car. All right, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, are we gonna go over the sign? No way. <laughs> what are the chances of landing perfectly on the edge of this sign? That was amazing. Can I drive on the sign here? Oh, look at this. Fantastic. Let's see what first person looks like, and we're gonna do the loop in first person. Top of seat. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is first person. Oh, this is awesome. This is so easy. Holy cow, the loop is so easy in first person. Oh, no, we're spinning out. We're on the dirt. Okay. All right, we're out of the dirt. We're back in the first person view. I'm gonna try my best to drive around on the actual ground here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Once you hit, like, a little bit of the dirt. Ow. Uh-oh. I'm okay. We're fine now. Everything's all fine now. Oh. It's all fine. It's exactly how F1 works. Man, first person. Oh. First person is so epic in this F1 car. All right, I want to see what this thing feels like in first person. All right, here we go. Oh, there goes our front end. And look at that, just barely up to the top. All right, and we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Whoa! The cockpit actually survived, but it kicked me out because it went upside down. All right, let's spawn in another creation. Up next, we have a winter sled by Clutch85. It says Santa's coming for you, which doesn't sound threatening at all. I think it's a little early for Santa to be coming for us though, so I'm not gonna take the threat serious. Whoa, that's cool. The triple wheels in the back, two sets of triple wheels. All right, is this thing even gonna be able to turn? Oh, this is not, this is not fast, but we do have uh, thrusters. This is, this is still, compared to the F1 car, it does actually turn though. That's pretty nice. Is it just a lack of lack of strong engines in this thing? Is that all it is? I don't really know. There's not a lot of room for engines. I don't even know where you put them to be honest. Let's see if we can add. I'm just gonna delete that, that, and that. And we're gonna put a dragon. Oh, there's the engines. There's engines right there. We're gonna put a dragon engine right in the back of this thing, just like that. And we're gonna see if this helps us. There we go. It's a little bit better. Does this thing go over dirt too? Oh yeah, no problem over dirt. So that's interesting. The skis seem to actually have some turning ability now. They didn't um, the last time I tried to make something that uses skis. But this one at least uses them in a way that allows them to turn. All right, what happens if I just slap? I'm gonna slap an engine right there. And we're gonna slap an engine right there and there and there and there. Now we got just a little bit, a little bit more engine power. Holy cow. Okay, now we're a little bit faster. Now we are a little bit faster and Santa's definitely coming for us. <laughs> Holy cow, that made a big difference, didn't it? Man, look at this. We have like too much acceleration. I can't even stay upright. All right, and we're dead. All right, let's move on to another creation. All right, up next we have Air Guitar Trailcaster by That Dom Guy. Apparently this is a giant air guitar is a salute to those who rock. And believe it or not, I am also a guitarist myself and into rock, so thank you very much for the salute. All right, here we go. Check this thing out. Oh, okay. Oh, no way. No way. This thing flies like this? And it's controllable? The propellers are the, are the yaw. It turns with the propellers. What does left shift do? Wait, what, there's a cannon somewhere? It's a bomber? It's an air guitar bomber? Look at this, the cannon's in the back and it bombs. This guitar is the bomb. And it's got a wooden neck. You put the wood texture on the back of the neck. This is so cool. 
Oh, and the uh, the stone texture works great for the fretboard. I didn't even notice that. That's amazing. Dude, th this is a cool, this has to be one of my favorite creations probably. This thing is just awesome. And the fire coming off of it, this is so cool. All right, I have to crash this thing though. It's like a giant knife about to stab the earth. Oh, no, not into the water, not into the water, into the ground. Go this way, go this way. Yes, here we go, here we go, and ooh. But the question is, can you blow yourself up? Good enough, I suppose. All right, so now I wanna get out of it and I wanna watch it fall from the sky. I wanna see what happens when it hits the ground after falling from the sky. Oh, this thing falls pretty fast, look at that. Is it gonna go to hoop? That would have been impressive. And there it goes. It just, yeah, it completely destroys itself. All right, man, very well done on the air. I know why you call it an air guitar now, because it flies through the air. It's awesome. All right, up next by NanoDude05, we have the Flying Railgun of Death, in parentheses, super accurate. He said it's pretty much a hovercraft mounted with an omnidirectional railgun that has full range of motion, 360 degrees on all axes. Well, this sounds fun, so let's push some buttons and see what happens. Whoa, what? Wait, what? Is that supposed to happen? The legs instantly kind of fall apart. Wow, that's a lot of controls. I am very confused. I am so... Okay, shift is to go up. This is crazy. And it stabilizes so quick. So I press shift and then the hover, pa the hover pads turn off. And then when I let go of shift, it just freezes in air. So it doesn't like, you know, it doesn't hover around. All right, what about... All right, look at that. We can just go forwards. And we can just go backwards. Man, this thing is so stable. And look at turning. Turning is so easy. As, it's like we're just, it's like we're in zero G. It feels like we're in zero G. This thing's awesome. All right, arrows. Okay, so there we go. We can go up and down. And apparently this is full 360 range of motion. Yes, it is. Look at that. IJKL. Oh, is that just fine tuning? Like, look, there's up and down and there's I and K. And then left and right, and then J and L. It looks like it's little subtle movements for like fine tuning. What that's what you might mean by super accurate. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like comma and period moves the seat like this. It must be some kind of like calibration to get your first per. It's probably good in first person. Whoa! I think it actually. If you see what the magnet does, the magnet pushes this whole system at the same time that it fires which I think increases the velocity of the projectile. You know what, I'm gonna aim for the barrels then. Here, let's go on top of seat camera. Here we go, oh, no way! We have a crosshair! So now I can aim, holy cow, this is cool! All right, now let's try IJKL. Oh yeah, look at that, super fine tuning with that. That's interesting. All right, now we're gonna aim down. All right, so I have that in the crosshairs. Let's see how accurate this thing is. We're pretty far away though. All right, and space. Okay, whoa! That was actually, we still almost hit it. Look at that! All right, what about that one over there? All right, so look, whoa! It bounces off the ground a little weird. All right, let's aim up. Aim up a little bit more. All right, so it looks like right now the calibration is it, it aims slightly left to the crosshair, so I'm going to use comma and period. There we go, so now I'm moving the crosshair to the left which actually makes it more accurate. So we did just calibrate it. That's, this is crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna aim way up. We're gonna see if we can get it from here. All right, and there we go. We went over it? Oh, that was almost, is it too far away, do you think? It might be too far away to actually register any physics. I think we're going through it. All right, we're moving forward. We're gonna move forward on these things. Actually, let's go for this, uh, this closer one first. All right, right, we're gonna aim slightly above it and go look at that all right now i'm gonna go ahead and start moving forward there we go and fire oh 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 not yet not yet and fire oh no it doesn't work anymore oh there it goes there we go what what did we do we hit two with one shot and they just wouldn't stop exploding. That is crazy. Look at this aiming system. It is so smooth. Look at that, we just instantly turn around too. This is an awesome creation. I'm just gonna leave that up there now. The railgun of death just 
scanning its surroundings on its own. So which one of these creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you want to see some more amazing creations like this on the workshop, then go ahead and give this playlist a peruse on the end screen. There's many, many videos with probably hundreds of different creations that I've seen. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.